Hi everyone, this is Sandy from PH Inspirations. Everybody was asking me for a video on how I do my ornaments because they look like cake pops. Well, they sort of do. These two over here, I've already spray sealed one and dipped the other in the polycrylic. The polycrylic is this. I just dipped it right in there and then put it on the, the popsicle sticks. The other is spray sealed with the Krylon Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze. Stuff is awesome. I love it. I use it for everything. I've already prepped a few of these balls on the with the white and they are dripping at this point. I do have my white, which is the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White, uh, one part to two parts of American Floetrol. And this is how thick it is. Remember, I was telling you in my comments that it's like between uh, warm honey and cold honey. I've determined that it's melted ice cream. <laughs> so hopefully you can understand that. My red that I use is a combination of red. I use the Anita's True Red. And I use the Deco Art Tuscan Red. So it's two parts of the true red to one part of the Tuscan red and mixed with the, the Floetrol, the American Floetrol. I also have a green that I'm going to use today. This is the Emerald, Brilliant Emerald Metallic Green by Deco Art Metallics. Love this. This is the best green ever. It, it falls in the line of the uh, 24 karat gold. So if you love that, you'll love this too. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how I do mine, and hopefully you'll enjoy it and have fun. I know I did, so let's get started. So you see I'm actually grabbing the ball and placing it on the popsicle stick. You'll understand that because the paint's still moving, it's gonna get rid it's gonna flow it and get rid of any kind of marks that you had from your hand from moving it. But I have the small glass balls and a couple of them still have little splinters on the inside, so be careful of that part. The other ones over here are glass disc balls or as some people call them bubbles. I'm not, I'm American, so I call them balls. And you just dip it in right in the paint. Let it drip a moment. You can see how it's like really, really thick coming off the ball. After I get this part done, I will take my gloves off and show you how I put the colors on. You're going to go in one direction with your colors. Um, and I put my colors in a squeeze bottle, you know, a condiment bottle. You can get them at Do uh, Dollar Tree. I actually got mine from the Websteron store in America. Love that store. They, they have everything from parchment paper to uh, foil liners to you name it. It's the, the best thing that you ever find. Anyway, the only reason I knew about that because I used to work in the restaurant business. Now I don't. All right, I'm going to get my colors. I'm going to do green today for a minute and I want to show you what it looks like. So I'm just drizzling straight, straight across one side to the other. That's it. The red one I will do on the discs, but this is all it is. It's so simple, and the, the consistency of the color paint is almost identical to the white, so you're not changing your consistency at all. I like using it to be a little bit thicker because it moves slower. So that's basically it for the green. Now I'm going to try to tilt the camera a little bit here and go for the discs and I'll do the red. I 
and that's all I'm doing. I'm going against the, the curve, so I'm doing the flat side, so it drips down the flat side. Now, people are going to ask, how long do you wait before you seal them? How long do you, you know, do all this? After I paint them, because it's um, glass, the paint really, it actually dries fairly quick. So I'm going to say three days max. And you can always, you'll know. You'll know as soon as you, you touch it, you'll know. Um... And then once you do that, you can spray seal it, like I said, with the Krylon. Uh, wait about a half an hour. Do three coats of it if you want to. If you don't, don't do three coats. Just do one coat. So far, I've only done one coat on mine, and it looked great. And I think I might be dipping my other ones in the polyacrylic. I'm not sure yet. But basically, that's all I'm doing today. I will show you. So you see on some of these, some of the green has actually taken over the white too much. So I was a little concerned with that happening. So I'll grab my white in a, in a squeeze bottle and I'll go back over it to try to break that green up a little bit. And it does help, as you can see. The red I'm not too concerned with because that didn't really take over as much. If any of you all have any questions, you can always follow up with me. Send me a private message. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to answer them all right away um, because of the holidays and everything, but I'll, get, I'll do the best that I can. Anyway, Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you have a great holiday. Be safe. Hug your loved ones. Bye-bye.